so it's been a while since the brand new iPhone 11 came out. Fortunately, I'm one of the lucky person who had it when it was released. So in my recent trip to Japan, I decided to make a Japan iPhone 11 series to show you guys how the iPhone 11 performs when you want to use it for your vlogs. So in our first night when we arrived at Osaka, we realized that this cheap luxury Airbnb exists. Take a look. Okay, so now we're here at Osaka International Airport, or as they say, Kicks. It's our second time here. So let's maybe buy a SIM card first for the internet. I'm still vlogging on my iPhone 11. Okay, so if you're landing here at Osaka and Kansai International Airport and you avail the JR Pass for seven days, uh, you should go to the third terminal 2 at second floor when you go to the arrival. After you go to the arrival, they will give you the actual passport-ish looking like card for your jam pass. It's so cold, but it's much colder before, but it's cold. It's really, really cold. So now we're buying a ticket to go to Suwacho Line. This is not included in the JR Pass, so we have to pay. Alright, so when you're buying tickets here and you're a tourist, go to this blue vending machine, not this one. So you're gonna have this ticket, it's a very small ticket, so please take care of it, okay? Let's go. 180 yen, by the way. First we gotta go in. We got the keys. Five room five all files. Let's press five. Okay, my iPhone is already on eight percent battery, so let's hope that it will stay longer for more vlog. Oh man, we got a view, we got a spot, nasty. And then from the stupid we got a flat drum, but we can't because it's a twenty twenty five thousand yen fine. So I think we just copped the super cheapest Airbnb here in Osaka and I'm being quiet because it's already 10 30 in the evening here in Osaka, Japan. I know some of them are sleeping already so I'm gonna go inside and show you guys this cheap luxury apartment. It's so cheap. I'm super serious. It's cheap. There's even an automatic light. So security got one, got two, that three deluxe in our money Philippine peso. This is only uh, two thousand two hundred pesos with the extra service charges and whatever. In total, it's only six thousand pesos uh, for at least three nights. We're not expecting this kind of Airbnb because we've been renting cheap Airbnbs for a long, and it's not always bad. It's okay, but this is super duper okay. I'm not making this kind of videos as you can see on my channel if you watch my videos I don't do this kind of videos but this Airbnb apartment deserves it so I'm gonna show you guys there's gonna be no cinematic stuff I'm just using my iPhone to vlog everything so that I can explain properly why this is so so cheap first there's a closet here that you can fit your feet I'm just kidding you can fit your sleepers or shoes or whatever and here by the way, there's a huge window, and here is your toilet. So, okay, I'm gonna close that. But first, there's another closet. It's not that huge, you know, it's okay. But you have a closet, just, just wait for it. There's a kitchen, just like other uh, any other Airbnbs, yes. But there's this, there's even the, the things and tools we need to kit for kitchen, for cooking. There's a sink, new sink, there's a stove. There's even an oven, there's a heater for your water, there's two trash cans. See, there's a refrigerator here. Okay, there's this thing, there's this air condition module, and look at the CR, there's a washing machine. There's a sink, it looks beautiful and luxurious. 
there's this uh, mirror and there's this bathtub, man. You can fit a baby there. I'm just kidding. But there's still a bathtub in this small little place. There's even a shower here. Look at those aesthetics, bruh. This is newly made and you should go here if you're going to Osaka to like, you know, make the use of it while it's still new. So there's the television. Of course, there's Wi-Fi. There's this huge closet that I'm talking about. There's this bed. This is huge. And if you want some privacy, there's a divider. Look at that. Look at that. There's a lot of dividers, man. And the, lastly, there's a terrace. All right, so peaceful and joy. Okay, let's close this. So why this is the cheapest Airbnb you can find? It's luxurious. The place is new. The way you go in is even luxurious. There's some automatic codes and whatever you got to put in. But this place, thank you so much to the Airbnb owner. If, you, if you're watching this, yo, props to you. This place is so worth it. You're going to help a lot of travelers that are uh, traveling cheap and we just want to enjoy Japan the most affordable way. So I'm just ending this video to show you guys if you need this place, if you want, just want to travel cheap, this is a good option here in Osaka. The instructions on the Airbnb, the owner will give you a proper instruction on how to go here. I just saved and screenshot all the, all the website, all the links and whatever. You can go in alone without the owner. So uh, we're gonna take a dinner and we're gonna sleep and go to Universal Studios Japan tomorrow. Let's see. So on the next episode, we're gonna vlog in Universal Studios Japan using our iPhone 11. Don't forget to check these videos if you want more cinematic stuff. And see you in the next video.